All right, we're off to our first location for the day, doing our route. We're gonna be stopping at six locations and securing our seventh. Here is our giant bundle of stuff from our toolboxes, two inch capsules, claw machine mix, and much more. We're gonna be heading over to the first one right now and paying out the commission. All right, we are at our first location and Michael's grabbing us breakfast and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. We have a lot to do here, so it's gonna be fun. We know that we are gonna need some one inch toys. We have a whole bag of those here. Get this jacket out of the way. And we need some claw stuff. There are some new mini brands, which is gonna be a new addition. We're going to put in some uh, new stickers. That is our two inch capsules and maybe switch out the candy, but we will grab things one at a time and figure it out. All right, she's wheel stuff, and I'm carrying some of our capsules. Just gonna move that little stand right out of the way. She's gonna park it, and I'm gonna park it. Okay, all the cool, neat stuff. Looks like this has been getting some use, and I don't think there's ever gonna be a time where this doesn't get moved, but we'll put in some weights. Sticky hands need some assistance. This needs actual assistance, because you can see the vending wheel inside of it. If the wheel is showing, that usually means it needs help. Uh, bouncy balls are doing pretty well too, actually. And our candy isn't doing great, but the gum is doing good and we have some new gum to put in. So we will either leave the candy for now and let it sell out the best of the can or we'll switch stuff out. We don't know yet. So she is going through our neat little nifty toolbox. She is going to start with the bulk machine. Favorite machines, but this is my least favorite one to empty because it takes so long. Fidget poppers are usually the worst, but they don't do bad. I mean, we did fill it to the top at one point, so in each wheel you can kind of see the mechanisms or turns, so you know that they were used at one point. Oh, yeah. yeah, at one point. <laughs> uh, maybe literally once. Four times. Okay, so we just got our food. It is the most important meal of the day, serving it up Gary's way. Oh, I should have said Dairy's way. This video is probably going to be really long because I know we actually have commentary in it this time. Okay, so bouncy balls. Let's see what they did. Where are they? <laughs> are you going to tell me it did nothing? <laughs> no, it did it all. Right. Wow. Wow. Doesn't that really make you? That sure spices my gin. No, it makes my job easier though because I don't have to take this off. It does it. I guess we won't refill those because there's still enough of those. And they seem to be doing awful. I'm sure it's a lot of people are using claws because we're not even getting that many claw sales right now. Well, I got English buffer for both of us, double cheese, double egg, and potato cakes. I almost forgot the potato cakes. I oh. should change in there. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit. Enough that you're probably going to have to scoop it out. machine to empty for this exact reason. But you know, in a way it's still rewarding. Not that rewarding though. I almost feel like we should have refilled the toy explosions in sticky hands. That did decent. That's what we like to see. I don't even care about having it all the way, just more. Yeah, right now sales aren't doing that good and it's not worth that effort today. This is the side of the vending business that nobody talks about. The part where even a franchise doesn't have to do well sometimes. Mm -hmm. You can kind of expect when those types are going to be so there's that one. Just going to wheel that right back. Okay, time for the big guns. And by the big guns, I mean a sticker machine that I literally can't lift. So we are going to be switching out Among Us while we have this open. Ooh. The sticker still did good. Good to see. Mr. Sir. So we're pulling out Among Us and that's going to be going to our other Dairy Queen location and we are going to be putting crypto villains in here. Which... Bye bye Among Us. Want to do that one? How much shows more? Turn around. Yeah, I like the other one. I don't know why they have an Undertale character on there. Is he a villain? I don't know. We'll see how those do. Well, it's getting to be Halloween times. That is from our stickers, which made the little difference and not making much. You gotta adjust it. 
kind of showed up a little taller than it was supposed to, but that can either be folded or cut. Um, I think that'll be a nice little addition for right now. And then she is gonna attempt to shove it in there with its tall head. See if it works. It feels like it's gonna break my wrist every single time that I try. But this is all crooked. Uh, that looks better than it has in a long time. You remember the gap right there? I hope it's like covering that. I think it looks good. Remember the gap right here? It's okay. It's a usually a bigger <laughs> gap. I can live with that. Okay. All right, so this is what we've done so far before touching our claw machine. We're gonna check the claw machine and see if that makes a big difference. And we'll be putting in some new goodies. So I think the new goodies are gonna help us. I'm sure our breakfast is gonna be mildly cold, but it was either that or no breakfast at all. So they close at 11. There's the coins. Not bad. Nice start. Not too much, not too little, but. Not too shabby, but you gotta love those fries. Oh, yeah. Alright, put that in there. We're gonna put that dollar back because I think this is an older system that needs it in there to be validated. Okay, so what are we actually restocking? So she just added some new trick or trades and now she's putting in some mini brands, which I think would be good. Actually, I'm gonna throw that one right up against there. Yeah, right now there's no systematic rhyme or reason. So. We had a little bit of a funky issue and we don't really know what exactly caused it, but I'll give you guys an idea. So there's this little thing when you turn the mechanism that goes up and then naturally it goes back down when you're done dispensing and it kind of keeps it locked. But for some reason, this thing was not moving back down with it. So it was able to turn the opposite direction, which was to the left and it's not supposed to, it's supposed to be kind of stuck like that. So with this, not going back down how it just was, it was able to go backwards, which hypothetically can let people dispense it as much as they want without needing to. And we don't really know what fixed it. Everything was tightened, but putting it, taking it out to look at it and putting it back, it's back to its normal self. So we don't really know what changed. We just know that it was an issue and naturally now it's not. So I'm packing up footage or finish cleaning it up, wipe down all the sticky nasties that are probably where children are. Yes, I will show the viewers the prize. Let me just clean all this up. I guess there was an issue with um, one of the employees here, the owner, manager. She was putting quarters in and dollar bills, and I guess it was taking it and playing its music, but there was no um, movement of the claw. We tried it. It was working okay, maybe it was a jammed bill or maybe it was just a freak thing, I don't know, but they got their quarters back, their dollars, and we tried it and it was okay. Here's our grand prize items that we just put in after the last winner. Yep, someone won the last one, so now there's an Amazon Fire tablet. Got some mini brands in there, normal Pokemon packs, trick trade packs, candy sticky hands. It's pretty cool. So we left our Dairy Queen location just a little while ago. We're going to our Chinese buffet location. It's about an hour away, so we have three locations out in town that we're going to service, and then we're going to loop back to where we started and service two more locations before the end of the day and go and put a new location at a new, or put a new machine at a new location. All right, oh, we got we our stuff. Bag. We've got our Rick and Morty capsules. Right and what back did you say we need? Um, the commission bag. Okay. I haven't been asking people. I actually think if we started asking people again, we'd start getting a lot more yeses. But if we start only asking franchises, it's like, okay, well, we know that if we get in there, it's definitely going to pay itself back, so we might as well try. We're already in the area, so we might as well make routine of asking a couple places. Yeah, the other person's machines. And this is our machine. Much less exciting. There's no lights. <laughs> and this was from our mini brand. And they're not empty yet, so I guess... They're getting they're really close, though. That poor label. It's hanging on for dear life. I didn't even notice until now. Oh, wow. Yeah, and we basically filled that guy up to the top. Do we need to... Do we have the stuff to restock that on here or no? It's in the car. Okay. We need to We're going to be switching out these Pokeballs for Rick and Morty stuff so that we can get those out because they have not been doing that great. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Which is funny because in the beginning you were telling me they weren't gonna do well. No. They didn't do well, do well, but you still like them. Eh, they did okay. I still think the Rick and Morty is gonna do better though. And people like the opportunity to show off something they enjoy. from you. Thanks. I think we're gonna need two hands for this. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Be very easy. You can set it on one of the toy strips. Yeah, that's a good idea. Make sure not to fill it up all the way because we'll stop to put the label on. Make sure to leave room for the label. Okay, we gotta throw the label in or we're not gonna be able to. There's another open one right here. Huh? There's another open one right there. There's probably gonna be a few. And then we're gonna take these because they're extra. I kind of wish this one was in the middle just because it's the bigger label and I'd prefer to have the smaller labels on the outside. The square ones will leave that in the middle, but... Somebody's gonna get a free Rick and Morty keychain. Everything is not doing the thing that our other machine did. Normal gun. Not, not bad. For being done. That's here. Something that's been bothering me since the last time we were here. There's another one with no lid right here. No way. Uh, oh, without a lid, okay, I can live with that, but I want to get the one that's just 100% empty. I like this machine. I actually really like this machine. Stickies! Oh, there's a lot of stickies. Yeah, like this one. Thank you. location's done pretty decent, all things considered. Which is why I want to try asking IHOP and Denny's, because if we can talk to the manager there, that would be great. I only want to ask if we can talk to the manager. If there's a manager or an owner available, that's the only circumstances I'd want to ask. If they don't have them there, I want to ask when the next time they'll be in is. Didn't you struggle with this one last time? Yeah. Because it does so well. That did really good. Yes, it does. And that was our toy explosion. Toy explosion tends to do well everywhere. And this is going to do well with the normal one. And this one was partially turned, so we know it was used. One, two, five, and then hold down unit. Yeah. That should be fine. You might have to do it after the quarters are on, but that should work, so. If not, we'll do it um, after we pour the quarters in. Okay, 438, that's pretty consistent. Yep, four. Okay. okay, so we just finished up the China Buffet. I think the total was like 109. 109.50, it was a dollar less than the last two weeks we did it. So it did pretty good. This place is doing pretty consistent. There are two other locations in this area that we want to go ask about maybe putting a machine. So we're going to go to an IHOP and a Denny's, and I know they're both franchises, but it's in the same area and we have a little bit of extra time today. So we're going to go see if maybe we can find like a manager or an owner to talk to. So maybe we can get more machines in this area. I'm going to go. I realized while editing this that I never touched base on what answers we got from those locations. We went to four different locations, five different locations today. Two of them we walked out of because it was lunch rush and it was really busy and we didn't want to ask when they were busy. We went to a trampoline park in the area and we actually got a hold of the owner or the owner's son um, and we were able to give him a card. He's going to pass that information on to the owner and then obviously we'll keep checking in there. And then we went into a Denny's and an IHOP. The IHOP we were able to talk to the manager about and they're supposed to be talking to the owner again we're gonna have to keep checking in there and the Denny's they already had some machines there and they were owned by National Entertainment Network and if I remember correctly those are the same people that are in with Dollar Tree so I don't think it's going to be very easy to get into a place that they are already located all right we just made it to our second Dairy Queen location and it looks like in terms of stock we're doing pretty okay a couple small dents but nothing that needs to be immediately addressed um, one thing we're going to be doing is pulling out the Hanna-Barbera stickers. I think that those are doing well enough, but they don't target the Y demographic, which is going to be children coming in. And that was kind of the idea. We wanted it to mostly be, you know, something for the older generation who maybe want to use it. But 
we want to switch it out and put it into our mix so that you can still get it but it's more of a chance rather than a guarantee and then we'll come in and we'll add up a little bit more things in the claw machine and just try to tidy it around but uh, things are looking pretty good we will do the pull and just try to get it as nicely as we can all right first thing we're going to do is give this a little bit of a wipe down because that's the thing that you are going to see first when you come in and start using these machines um, I prefer to use Windex. It streaks less and is less drippy like this one. It'll dry out, but it still will look streaked. Um, but at least we know we're cleaning it, and that's the thing that matters right this moment. This thing looks like it was partially pulled, but not all the way. So we went ahead and did that. I'm going to pull that gum out because even if I left it there, I don't think anyone wants a secondhand gum as far as they're concerned. So give this a nice little wipe down. Won't look perfect, but we know it'll be clean. And I'm doing this as best as I can in terms of camera angles, but a one-man show at this current second, so. All right, light blue for the second dairy queen. All right, got that one open, and that is a good amount of change. Let's go ahead and put it in the bag. All right, next we got the gum, good stuff, not gum. And that one did pretty okay, not as well as the Pokeballs, but hey, less stocking to do. All right, next we're doing the low pop gum. With one hand, we're gonna go ahead and slip the gum to my little money-making table. And that did pretty good. But again, yep, that already comes out some. There's another. Go ahead and set that down for a minute to double check it. Here's our penny, thanks for the tip. And let's take this and put it anywhere we have the space. Not bad for gum at a place that sells ice cream. That's good. Sticky quarter. Is so that your top toy? Yeah. The Pokemon one. Oh. That we printed. We need to get that new ink before we make any more labels because I don't want to keep using that kind. Okay. And we know now for the future that it's worth it to just buy the ink that we need. <laughs> Putting new stickers in there. We have less of these stickers, but it's at least a new kind of sticker, so I think that maybe that'll help. Do It'll be a good placeholder until we can either get another label figured out or you know, whatever we decide to do. I know that it, we don't have that many and maybe this isn't necessary, but it's nice to feel like you know we're having some amount of change. Go ahead and I'm using the camera to kind of navigate right now. There we go. Let's see how we did. Not too shabby in these corners. Alright, that was that. Let's get that open. That's not too bad. That is not terrible. We got a couple fibers, maybe just the one fiber, but still good. It is fine. Okay. Make sure everything's functioning. Those are functioning lights. Why is there not on? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hi. Please present your card or your mobile phone. Transaction canceled. Why is it acting like the actual screen is messed up? We'll figure it out. Oh wait, it's because one's unplugged. Is that actually what it is? I don't know. What's it? Um, it says Nyax. It says Nyax, but where do I plug it in? Um, Let's just cheat. <laughs> I'm back because apparently we forgot to mention quite a few things in this video. Um, when we went into this location, our Nyaxis screen was off and we weren't sure what was wrong with it. Um, we opened it up and we found a cable that said Nyax and we thought maybe it was unplugged. And then I almost shorted out the entire machine trying to plug it in somewhere it didn't go. And the entire thing shut off when I accidentally touched two pieces of metal together. And then we turned the machine back on and it was fine. So I don't know what that plug went to. I don't know what was wrong with it. That seems to be the general consensus with most, with, with most issues we faced in this video. Um, everything is working and fine now though. So we're good. Yeah, we're good. Right. are sad. <laughs> Yeah. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And then my app's still on. Yep. Everything seems happy. Yeah, it's not great, but it works. 
So at the end of today, we made about 375 after commission, and then Michael also just went and placed a gumball machine at a new location that we're expecting is gonna get pretty good foot traffic, and we also got to talk to an upcoming business owner in the area that's opening a breakfast diner, and we secured a location through them once our, once they get that open. That could be, you know, a long ways away from now, but that'll be cool if it ever comes into fruition. <laughs> Winter has obviously taken a little bit of a hit on our sales since we mostly um, provide novelty machines and when kids go back to school those machines get less business. So definitely something to take into consideration if you're looking to start your own novelty vending business. There is a slow season and we are in it.